for, I remember most of the day, and it was a day just like any other. Um, I was a convoy commander, so I led convoys through Baghdad and Iraq, so I was on the road a lot. Got into the vehicle, I was in a Humvee. Um, it was early on in the war, I had no doors on the vehicle, we had no armor, we just kind of did what we had to do. And we went out of the gate, and about 10 minutes into the ride, we went under an underpass, and this big boom, big explosion goes off. I undid my seatbelt, I started to get out, and I looked down and saw a bunch of blood. And that's when I called out, I, I'm th I think I'm hurt, I'm hurt, and lucky for me, there was a combat medic a few vehicles back. I've always been a very optimistic person, and I, um, very early on, I, I really accepted it early on. I knew it wasn't going to grow back. <laughs> uh, maybe someday you can regenerate limbs, but um, at the moment I knew that that wasn't the case. I knew that it was kind of pointless for me to go back and say, well, what if, what if I did this, or what if I had a door, because it didn't matter, because what had happened had happened. When I was younger, I dreamed of going to the Olympics as a gymnast, and I wanted to represent the country in, my, in USA. And um, as soon as I heard about the Paralympics, it was just an immediate, this is gonna, it's gotta happen. Somehow I have to do it. So, I mean, no greater honor really than, you know, representing a country I defended over in Iraq and just one that I was, you know, so, so fond of. So um, it was a dream from that point on, and I decided to give it a shot first in the sport of swimming. And I ended up uh, competing in the 2008 Paralympics in Beijing and swimming, and then turned to triathlon the following year. But um, I mean, why not dream big? Why not live for those that gave that ultimate sacrifice? I knew I was a decent swimmer, and I kind of started to, to run a little bit. And then um, the Challenge Athletes Foundation, based out of California, invited me out to do a triathlon and I thought, well, this is crazy. Who's going to want to swim, bike, and run? But I went out there, I did it, I crossed the finish line and I was hooked. The challenge of all three sports, the different prosthetics I had to wear, being on the same course as able-bodied athletes, I mean, I just really fell in love with the sport. Myself and two other friends, Carrie and Dan, the three of us co-founded Dare to Try Paratriathlon Club in 2011. You know, we have a very much a grassroots level. We have, um, where we serve youth, adult, injured service members. We have, you know, training year round. We have coaching. We provide the necessary equipment for someone to actually get into the sport and really finish it and to see what they're capable of. The motto is uh, one inspires many and our, a lot of our athletes are out there and I mean, Dare to Try, it's, it's becoming a very, very well-known name nationwide and I'm just very proud to have helped start it and just to see where, it, it's gonna, where it's gonna go. There's no end to the, to the benefits. I mean, it's amazing. You not only do you have this self-worth, you, you gain self-worth on the things that you're still able to do, you gain self-confidence, you become uh, more physically fit, you become, I mean, you're out there with other athletes that don't have disabilities and you're inspiring them. I mean, it's just one thing after the next. Just, I mean, I proudly live a life of sport and I encourage anybody to do the same.